Hi guys, this is Chandeep at Goodly. I have something very interesting today. Uh, this is about creating your own infographic. If you do not know what is an infographic, it is just an info. It's just a way that you can present your information in a graphical format. Um, so let me just give you a bit of uh, description as to what I'm talking about here. Take a look at these icons. Um, these seem like human beings, uh, and you must have seen these icons uh, a lot uh, uh, in, in in some presentations or uh, at the airports or any descriptive ways of telling that this pertains to uh, a human. You probably use these icons. So I'm going to use uh, some tools in PowerPoint to make these icons. As of now, these icons are nothing but pictures. This is a picture. So I'm going to use uh, some tools in PowerPoint and let's see if we can make our own infographic. So first, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into Insert, uh, pick up uh, a shape. And the shape that, fi that first I'm going to use is, is, a, is an oval, or rather a, uh, a circle. Here's an oval. You can draw a circle by using the shift key along when you drag it so I'm just going to zoom in here next to it okay so I'm holding the shift key that allows me to draw a perfect circle when I drag this okay and the next thing that I have to do is uh, draw uh, a rectangle that uh, resembles to something as a body of the human being so I will go and pick up a rounded rectangle so I'll go uh, insert again shapes and pick up uh, a rounded rectangle from here. Draw it maybe a bit smaller in size. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I have to kind of make sure that whenever I'm drawing an infographic, uh, the shape of the infographic uh, is. Uh, yeah, nearly close to a proper human being uh, it should not uh, I mean what I'm trying to say is that the face should not be too large than the body or the body should not be too small then it would not look like a proper infographic and uh, your sort of human being is going to look like that it's suffering from any disease or something so just going to make it a bit neater uh, taking the two objects here and I'm just going to taking taking off the outlines uh, and uh, I can group them together by using the shortcut Control G to group the objects in PowerPoint. Uh, right clicking on the object and picking up maybe a gray shape, a gray fill. So this is very close to what I have here. Right. This is very close to this. Now, just a bit of a bit of variation as to how can I draw this tie. So if you just take a look at uh, this infographic, which appears to be a picture here, which is actually a picture here, this tie is made up of two triangles. So one is the knot, which is a triangle, and one is the larger triangle, which is the body of the tie. So I'm going to pick up two triangles and make something like something look like a tie. So uh, actually what I've done is I've customized my uh, shapes and a couple of other uh, essential tools in the uh, customize uh, uh, this quick access toolbar. Um, you can just watch one of my prior videos in order to understand that how do you do that. But as of now we're just going to focus on the infographics. So I'm going to pick up uh, a triangle from here. And uh, I, wanna, I want another triangle so instead of going and creating one I'm just going to copy this triangle. I held the shift key on my keypad and then I dragged it and this is copied. So this is this is the triangle that I want inverted. Okay. So the shortcut to actually invert the triangle is that you have to hold the alt key on your keypad and uh, kind of uh, hit the uh, press the right arrow buttons and it just moves towards the right. If you press the left arrow button, holding the alt key, it 
to move towards the left. Make sure that you make sure to do all three steps when you're doing it. Uh, alternatively, you have this little tool also here that can help you move when it doesn't move uh, perfectly with this. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this to make it look like a tie. Put it on top of this. Looks like a tie to me. In order to take off these uh, borders, I'm going to select both of them, right click, take off the outline from here. Okay. And uh, maybe I just want to want this guy to wear a white tie. A white, maybe a dark. Yeah, this sounds okay. Okay, so I'm going to group again and I'll bring it to the center. Right here. Use my shortcut to center the object. Right. Maybe I feel that the knot is a little too big. Just gonna squeeze in the knot a bit. Looks better. Looks better. Now, uh, you could be thinking that uh, where could you probably use these uh, icons? I mean, although we have created one, but where could you use this? So, uh, this is one such thing that I use in my presentations a lot. So, let me just give you a descriptive uh, case of where could we use these. So, I'm going to copy this object and put it into a new slide, uh, the next slide that I have. So. I forgot to copy that tie along. So actually as of now the infographic and the tie are two separate objects. So I have to group them together. Control G and then I copy it. Control C to copy. Uh, take it to the other slide. Control V. So let's say this is one of these slides where I am discussing about an annual sales review. I want to kind of deck up the slide. So let's see what we can do here. Just keep watching. So let's see I have this uh, infographic paste right here. I'm going to reduce it a bit in size. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this. And now, along with the tie, I'm going to copy this infographic, let's say, five times over and five times below. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, let's say but the case that I'm trying to build here is that uh, we are trying to say that 90% of the sales team has met the sales targets. So could there be a better way of saying that? So I'm going to select 9 of the 10 infographics and put them in a different color, a little brighter than a gray color. Maybe this. Okay. And I'm just going to fade it off a little more. Yeah. Uh, along with the tie. All right. Now uh, I can simply write in the comment. I'm just going to insert uh, a text box stating that 90% of my salespeople is going to pick up a better font that enhances the statement that 90% of the salespeople have met the targets. So I'm going to say 90% uh, sales sales team met the targets. GRGTS. Okay. Uh, pull this up in a small font size. I think this is fine. Coloring this green because the green resembles this, and uh, making this a little smaller in font size, so maybe 24. Now, take a look at this slide. This is much, much more representative of just that one statement. If you could have just put this one statement, that 90% of the CNC met the targets. Uh, without the infographics, it would not have looked 
like the way it is looking right now. So this presentation is much more uh, appealing. It gives uh, a much better view. So you can add infographics at a lot of places uh, in your slides whenever you want to talk about uh, humans. And with these objects that you have, you have uh, innumerable possibilities of creating n number of infographics as, as you would like. So this was the first one. We'll have a look at how to create more infographics in the, in the upcoming videos. Well, thanks for watching this video and I hope you found this trick useful. Uh, do take care of yourselves and goodbye.